it simple. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist, and today we're going to make raisins dance. Here's what you'll need. We're going to do this demonstration using two different methods. One, where you'll need a transparent glass with transparent soda pop beverage. The other, the glass with some vinegar and baking soda. And of course, you'll need raisins for both methods. Carbon dioxide is a gas that we breathe out, but plants breathe in. Now, it is possible to get carbon dioxide gas into liquids that we drink using a lot of pressure. We call those liquids carbonated beverages. Or in some places, pop. Yeah, or, that's the only way to call it. Uh, some places people call it soda too, but that's wrong. In any case, carbon dioxide gas once it gets on the inside of a liquid, it forms tiny little bubbles, and those bubbles will all rush to the top in something that we call fizz. Ultimately, the carbon dioxide gas will escape the liquid. In today's demonstration, we're gonna take some raisins and place them into a carbonated beverage. The bubbles will attach to the wrinkles of the raisin. Those bubbles will cause the raisin to rise all the way to the surface of the liquid. And once it reaches the top, the bubbles will then pop. Now, when those bubbles pop, the raisin is then too heavy for the remaining bubbles to hold it up at the surface. This causes the raisins to drop back down to the bottom of the liquid. Where the new bubbles will attach to those wrinkles of the raisin and make it go up and up and up. Hence, the process will start over and over again. We call that dancing raisins because it looks like they're doing a dance as this process repeats and repeats and repeats. Pretty cool, huh? As far as safety is concerned, both of these experiments are very safe. In the first version, we're simply using soda pop in a glass with raisins, and so that's extremely safe. In the second version, we are running a reaction in which we have baking soda in a glass along with vinegar. Now you may recall that vinegar is actually diluted acetic acid, but it's so diluted that it is not of particular harm. However, if you would like to, you could wear splash goggles just to be on the extra safe side. The last thing I'll point out about the second experiment is you'll want to be careful not to add too much baking soda too fast, because if you do, it will overflow your container. First, Pour your carbonated beverage into your glass. You'll want to fill the glass most of the way up for the best effect. Now just add your raisins. Only add a few, maybe five to 10. Notice how the raisins rise to the top, then drop back down over and over again. For the second method, we're actually going to perform a reaction that generates carbon dioxide. First, add your baking soda. Now, slowly add your vinegar. You can see the carbon dioxide bubbles form. Once the initial burst of bubbles goes down, add your raisins. You may need to add more vinegar once the reaction begins to settle down a bit. You can also slowly add a little more baking soda if necessary, but again, remember to do this slowly. And there you have it, dancing raisins. 